the summer of 2012, Music Camp International celebrated its 10th anniversary, 10 years of raising children up and giving hope and dignity through the healing gift of music. 10 years of sowing seeds of love and peace and compassion to some of Eastern Europe's most needy children. In October of 2011, 45 children from the small town of Bucha, Ukraine, performed at the Council of Europe in Strasbourg, France, to sing on behalf of children's needs, not only throughout Europe, but around the world. With just two weeks of training, these children, who had never sung or played instruments before, were singing to the most powerful dignitaries in all of Europe, reminding them to not forget their responsibility to care for the poor, lift the fallen, and provide for those who cannot see and are too sick to speak. But Music Camp International was not inspired by the grand staircase of the Council of Europe, nor the magnificent opera theater in Odessa, nor the grand cathedrals or concert halls throughout Romania. The idea of Music Camp International began in a crumbling and abandoned orphanage with the rusting remnants of the cages that had held children after the fall of the brutal Ceausescu regime. It began in hospital wards where children were left alone in cribs for years at a time because they had been abandoned at birth. It began when Connie Fortunato and her team met Monica and Lavinia at an orphanage in Oradia, Romania. Monica had lived in a cage and had only ever used her voice to make animal sounds. Lavinia had been abandoned in a hospital where she lived for five years tied to a crib and injected with a sedative because there was no one to care for her. They met Stefan in Timisoara the morning after he arrived at the train station because his father had sent him away when they had no more money. For these children, there was no song. There was no music. There was no hope. Their pain pierced Connie's heart and captivated everything in her that wanted to give them hope and love and life. And so, in June 2002, Music Camp International was born born to bring dignity to the abandoned and those that had been cast aside, born to restore the song. The response to the message has been powerful, penetrating the massive walls of politics and prejudice with the transforming meaning of the music. The journey has taken music camp from remote state orphanages strategically placed far outside the city limits to avoid intersecting with society's social conscience to the most beautiful opera theater in all of Europe, the largest international children's center in the world, the largest cathedral in Romania, and everywhere the children sing, people are stunned with what they hear not just the beautiful, clear sounds of their voices, but the power of their message. They sing the great masterworks, Bach's Magnificat, Haydn's Creation, and Handel's Messiah. They sing their national music, Boja Ukraina Zeberge, God be merciful and save Ukraine, and Kanta de Pace, let there be peace on the earth. What began 10 years ago as one camp in a remote village with a few small recorders and sock puppets has become an international force sweeping across social, economic, and religious barriers blending the voices of the less fortunate and the most fortunate in one song.
Through the generosity of our donors, we have purchased instruments, and what began as a simple melodic line has become a symphony of children performing with the Philharmonic Orchestras of their cities and regions to make beautiful music together, and it is changing them. In 2009, Music Camp International expanded to work with the blind and visually impaired. With the collaboration of the First Lady of Ukraine, they were able to gain access to these institutions in Kiev, Ukraine. For the first time, children that had been tossed to the sidelines of society were on national television. In 2011, Music Camp extended its reach into Romania, and now, the journey continues, returning to Cluj-Napoca, Romania, and adding the city of Tirgu Frumos. <music> music changes lives, and Music Camp International is working to transform communities, countries, and continents. Our commitment remains firm, but the opportunities are greater than we can fill. It is through partners and financial supporters that these needs will be met. The message of this year's concerts is captured best in the lyrics of its closing song written by Matthew Ivanko. Before I lay me down to rest, I ask the Lord one small request. I know I have all I could need, but this prayer is not for me. Too many people on this day don't have a peaceful place to stay. Let all fighting cease, that your children may see peace. Wipe their tears of sorrow away. Help us do your will, O Father, in the name of all that's true, and we'll see in one another the loving image of you. <laughs>